motherfucking savage. <laughs> Shit. What's up, Collective? It's your Uncle Seven Nine, the spiritual savage. Back to drop another motherfucking message. Like, share, follow, hit that notification button, that subscribe button, so you know when I post a video that may be for you, or even for me, or for the bitch sitting next to you who's all up in your business all the time, always talking shit, doing all of this when they need to do this. Whatever. I would like to thank my dad, God, for always providing everything that I need right when I need it. I thank you very much, Dad. I love you, and I will always remain obedient. And then when I don't, you'll put me right back in line. What you, what you, what I said, what I said. Let's thank our Soul Tribe members, Soul Tribe family, new subscribers, current subscribers, OGs. Appreciate you. Love you for making this happen. I love it. Appreciate you very much. We're gonna thank the ancestors, the archangels, the guardian angels, the ascended masters. Thank you very much. And to law enforcement, y'all the Jedi, y'all the Jedi, spirit, God, spirit teams. That's how we do it. And baby, you know, I love you. I'd like to also send a special shout out to my kid. Daddy loves you. I love you, kiddo. You gotta know this, all right? We're gonna make it happen, I promise. So let's get on with all you guys are going blind during the reading of this message and the delivery of the channel message I received. And also, we're just gonna return to Cinder 10 times fold. Got it with love and light, of course, put some haste behind it, Uncle Mike, some other beast, some other beast, some other beast, so it is. All right. So. I, you know, I got tripped the other cat because I found him outside and shit. Yeah, alley cat. We can't always, you know, people can't judge a book by its cover. You can't judge a person by where they come from either, as well as an animal. Now, he be doing little shit and it be pissing me fuck off and to the point to where I be like wanting to like, li like literally like, like do what I tell you. But you can't do that to him because I said to Wayne, he's he. What do you expect? He's a cat. I don't give a fuck how sentient he's becoming. He's still a cat, and he's an alley cat. Let's not forget where you found him. So then that, that, that kind of gave way for me to be more understanding and more accepting of the fact that you welcome him. You're teaching him. He loves you. He This cat literally every night lays, well, lick me until he goes to sleep. And lay, like, lay, he'd be, like, laid out like this <laughs> next to me all the time. This is my nigga. This is my, this is, this is my nigga. Like, he, you can't tell him shit. But then my other cats, you know, they've, they've learned to get along. Um, and I love the fact that, she, that he is here because she wasn't around any other animal. And he has literally taught her how to be a cat. Right? And I love that because she needs the companionship. And she needed to, you know, this is some, this is what, like her soul tribe. You know, being around me all the time got her acting like a human being. So she be in her bitch feelings all the time. She's very territorial. Like, she's extremely, like, jealous and shit. But I'm getting to the point. And so today, you know, I fed them when I got back. Oh, and check this out. When I got back, look what was at the door. <laughs> Guess what? Look what was at the door. Is any, anybody knows what this is? Yeah, we all know. Bart Simpson was like my favorite cartoon character when I was growing up. It's a fucking slingshot. David and Goliath, baby. This is very symbolic. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, whoever. Ancestor. David, whoever. Somebody dropped this motherfucker and said, this is to remind you of who you are in this world, collector. Maybe a little guy. Maybe a little gal. It may seem small, but all it takes is a, is this and a rubber band and a fucking rock and some good aim. Taking them down, baby. I'm keeping this forever. I'm going to get it embossed or some shit. For real. I'm keeping it. So, so you know, when I first got Karma, 347 on the clock. Isn't that Illinois? I always say that, don't I? It's somewhere over there. Whoever it is, these are si clear signs that I don't fuck with somebody there. So... When cats, like, I started seeing her, like, scratching the floor and on the walls and shit. I was like, what the fuck is wrong with this bitch? She might have got a hold of some drugs. She did. Somebody dropped it. Yeah, well, that's another story. But let's just say, for instance, she, I thought something was wrong with the bitch. But no, I looked it up, and that's the way, like, they do that in the wild to mark that, like, to don't cross the line, bitch. Like, or to hide their food, too. So she takes, like, she'll, like uh, uh, she, I don't know. She would go get my underwear. Like when I come home, she's when she's in heat, she likes to roll around in my dirty drawers. Literally, in my dirty drawers. My drawers ain't never really dirty. They're just drawers I already wore. So let's not even go there, collective. My booty always smells good. So my nuts, because I know how to clean myself. Because I'm like a cat. I'm segment in another life. We cats are the cleanest animals ever on the face of this planet. So don't let nobody tell you different. My drawers ain't never dirty. A dirty drawers just because I wore them. Okay? And they smell damn good. You feel me? All right. So. 
she'll go get my, you know, whatever she can find to cover up her food. And Trip, don't matter, he, st he immediately stops eating his shit and goes over to her bowl and eats her shit. I had to, I had to stop him. Like, and he went right the fuck back over there. She, she walked past him and she looked like I, I done told you, I drew the line, but you're gonna continue to do it. I done already warned you. So this is for you. You've been warned. Also, to go back to the original point, I mean, you know who you are too. And this, this is not for anybody specifically, but it is for somebody specifically. You feel me? You catch my current. So basically, what I'm basically saying is this: when you have somebody around you that shows you how to be you hold on to that collective cherish that do not take it for granted okay because you might find a nigga in the alley but hey check it you might need to dig into your inner alley to exist in this world or to at least be reminded of who you are and where you come from so don't judge a book by its cover and don't judge a person by where they are in life or where they come from that's the first lesson now the second lesson is very obvious you cross the line you came for me and i didn't send for you but you didn't realize, I keep telling you motherfuckers, you're playing in the energy, You, I'm going to address it. Spirit dropped a gem on me today. But it wasn't really a gem, it was a confirmation of what I already knew. Which is why when some, this motherfucker used to come to my, the last time this motherfucker came to my house, I threw away every motherfucking thing in my bathroom. Because I already knew what you was doing. The first time I broke out, and then this other kind of shit, I was like, this little hating ass bitch is doing this shit because he wants me to not be better than him. And I had to always, we got into it the last motherfucking time I seen this bitch too. Oh, you think you're so much better than everybody else? I said, no, you think I'm so much better than everybody else. You don't know everything. You can't be talking to people. Well, then you shouldn't talk to me then. You know who the fuck you are. Juan. Okay. I ain't, Look, I'm going to call you out because, bitch, you've been going all the way. You've been going all around town talking all kinds of shit about me. And I already know you have. But see, I gave it the leeway. But see, collected, this is another thing, too. 656 on the clock. I will never ever again allow a motherfucker to come into my energy and mistreat me and not say nothing because the only reason why I didn't say shit at those moments was because I know me and I know that I know the beast inside of me. I, it ain't worth it most of the time to, for, to slap the taste out your motherfucking mouth or to clown you in front of a room full of people. I mean, I could do it, but what's the point? That's what you want. You want me to fit into the, uh, the narrative that you've crafted so, uh, so immaturely. Yeah, because when you're fucking with a grown-ass man, grown-ass men, we show, I lead by example. That's a true leader. A leader leads by example and will follow by example as well. So people can see that a leader had to be a student or had to follow somebody at one point in time. But no, bitch, you just want to jump right into the leadership seat and you haven't earned it and you hadn't earned it. So I'm just not, yeah, like I said, I was a heated kind of was like, this. That's a, that's a dirty bitch, but you're a dirty bitch. You're just a dirty bitch, okay? And the way you tried to, and the way you ruined my friend, and all the rest of them little young ass niggas that, that worship you because you get them hooked on drugs. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 that is irreprehensible. And you gonna pay for that shit one day. You probably getting your shit now. If you haven't if you're not if you hadn't already gotten it, if you in my, my motherfucking opinion, you done got your shit already. But not in the way the universe wants you to. Why you think your life is over, bitch? God said no, that torment has just begun. Eight one eight on the clock. Why you in my bathroom trying to make my skin? I just got better, dude. And not better than you. I got better than who I was. So thank you. In a sense, thank you for making me better. Helping making me better than I was the day before. Cheers to you, you ignorant little bitch. And I don't give a fuck. What? 848. Anybody that knows you knows that you a shady ass bitch. <clears throat> yeah. And well, we're going to put some cards on you, ho. Because I'm sick of your shit. I said, you even putting the, the shit in my bathroom. Or whoever paid you to come put that shit in my bathroom when I first moved to my apartment. Bitch, I know you're the one that took my key. Mm -hmm. I knew it I knew the whole time. I don't know. See, that's the thing, Collective. People are so caught up in them, their self. They're so ego-driven. They take that ego ride all the way around town and don't ever sit and just stop for a second and think, are they really this stupid? Or are they allowing me to do these things so that they know how to move around me? That's all I was doing. You ain't been back in my motherfucking house since. Not that, when, not, not when I, I ain't let you in here. You might got a key or had a key or the motherfuckers at the office gave you one. But you know, this is the thing. All you did was help me be better. So thank you, you ignorant bitch. All right, let me get one on there. Like, share, follow, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Yep. And I, you know, I, I'm gonna say it. I'm saying your name. You know, I'm gonna say your name because uh, the what the uh, collective. This is another thing too. 
Anytime you got a demon around you or is fucking with you, they fuck with you because you haven't called them out by their name. When you give them the name, when you know who it is and you say their name, they got to go. It takes away the power because their mischief is in the, their, their mischief is in the darkness to hide in them shadows and keep fucking with you. But it, and you're like, what is going on? They, they like they sit back like watching you lose your mind. Gaslighting ass fucking demons. Demons gaslight. That's the first. Gaslighting is the first weapon of uh, uh, gang gang stalkers. Yeah, that's the first line of defense to drive you insane. Because literally, they, I, I, from what I've known, from what I've uh, you know read upon, from what people have we discussed, they're not supposed to touch you. Mm -hmm. Because it's because once they touch you, then they're then 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 they go to jail. Okay, all right. But no. But once you call out a low level demon, a low level scabby ass demon by their name, and allow people to know who the fuck they are, they stop. Or they'll go into hiding until they regenerate the evil and disgust that they have for you, which is really just a projection of how they feel about themselves. Let's keep it real. 100. <sighs> bitches, bitch, I keep saying, it makes me so upset because it's like, bitches want to be me so bad. They do everything I do. They try to talk like me, try to be like me, try to emulate me, try to walk like me, dress like me, try to be so much like me, but they don't want to commit to the motherfucking journey. You don't want to commit to everything I've gone through. And everybody wants to run. Oh, you get everything so easy. Do I have I really do have? I, I mean, I, I, let's just face it. I've had to deal with your motherfucking ass and that ain't been easy. So take a look in the mirror, bitch. The next time you're like, oh, he got it easy. Oh, no, maybe he hasn't because he's had to deal with my fuck shit and my fuck ass bullshit for all these years. Fuck you. And if I did get it easy, so what? Get it easy yourself. Go after easy instead of making things hard for yourself. Does that make sense? Give me a card for this motherfucker. Yeah, relief. Relief from conflict, dysfunction. Mm hmm. Because why? Yep, this is relief from conflict and dysfunction. You see that? This is this is this is what the collective gets. This is what I get. This is, and when I get something, the collective gets it. Because I'm not a selfish bitch. There's enough of this to spread around. Enough of relief from conflict and dysfunction. We don't need to sit in that no more. That's that's the spirit's way of saying you are already. Be passionate about it. Hell, even be upset about it because it's your feelings. It's how you choose to manage your feelings, Dwayne, Savage, 7-9, Jack of Clubs, whatever one you want to call me. Just be careful about what you call me because if I turn around and answer to some shit you called me, then you got to deal with my response. Okay? So let's see. So where do we go from here? We got an adventure of mastery. So it sounds like somebody's taking a spiritual journey again. Because remember, this is maintenance. This is not a one-trick one pony. To master yourself spiritually is an adventure. And you should look at it like that. Even the bad times, the good times. Good times, bad times. Doesn't matter. Look at it like this. Good times, bad times, bad times, good times. On either side of those bad times, are still good times. Feel me? Let me give it another Thank you, spirit. Thanks, dad. Uh, 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 uh. Endeavor. Endeavor. What are the words for that? Manifestation. Foundation. You manifested a good foundation for yourself going forward. Let me get another one. Decadence. Stagnation. Evolution. Uh, stagnation. Regress. Okay. Well, that's not for the collective. Clearly it ain't. Mm -mm. Could be though. Let's see what comes out after that. Hey, another one, please. Thanks, spirit. Thanks. Mm. All right, so self-searching. So this is for you, karmic. All you motherfucking karmics. So you're stuck in the stagnation. You're stuck in regression. You need to go self-searching, self-discovery. Go into hermit mode. Take a look at yourself. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Uncontrolled chariot in reverse Uncontrolled self-preserving Yeah, you don't give a fuck about saving your own life You would much rather uh, sacrifice your life Put your life on the line To come after me and the collective And all it ends you And all it does is what? Gives us new beginnings And change of plans Yeah Yeah, because we know how to remove, maneuver around you motherfuckers That's how it goes Change of plans Look, you should see me Especially when I'm driving, walking As soon as I see some narc shit psh, psh, Go left they like, oh, he gonna go right. Psh, I go straight. Fuck it. And if I if I walk outside and the energy's too motherfucking thick, they be like, I go, I go three motherfucking blocks on foot, okay? And I'd be like, just walking, doing my thing, listening to YouTube, thinking about my baby and shit, thinking about my cats, thinking about my next move, thinking about what I'm gonna write when I get home, thinking about lyrics, thinking about poetry, thinking about books, 
thinking about Brandy, thinking about Monica, Whitney, Usher, all them motherfuckers. I think about a lot of shit throughout the day. All these are all the thoughts that go through my mind. I'll tell you what. I get to the third and a half block, and I'm like, I look around, and I'm like, these motherfuckers. But I, you know, you know what? Because they already got a whole trap set up. I'd be like, God be like, Spirit be like, son, son, pay attention. And I'd be like, I hear them. I see them too. I see three blocks away from where I'm at now. I see what they got planned. Okay, I'm going home. I don't mind being at home because I got a home to go to. And not to take away from anybody that's look that's homeless or facing homelessness because I know exactly what that's like. Especially when it's of no fault of your own. But you got motherfuckers that are just homeless because they're fucking lazy and stupid. Yeah. So they don't mind sitting outside for 14, 15 fucking hours up the block waiting on you to come outside. And all you gotta do is I can go home. I got a place to go. I got a key to a place to go. May not be a motherfucking thing up in this bitch, but I got a floor to sit on. I got a fridge full of food. And if I ain't got a fridge full of food and I ain't got no money, ain't no wrong with go to no food shelf because you gotta live. Okay? Feel me. All right? Things do get better. Only when you think better, when you know better is coming. It's like I posted yesterday. The, the system will, will want to get you caught up in a, in a whole uh, mindset of lack. The bus driver this morning, we had a bomb ass talk. I, I, it was meant for me to leave when I left. See, I started to wait on the bus to take me downtown, but it was like 15 minutes, and everybody knows I don't have no patience. 619 on the clock, that means it's true. It's my birthday. It's supposed to be. But any given event, the bus driver, I walk. I just walk downtown because I don't have time to be waiting on no fucking bus 15 minutes. That's the devil trying to get me caught up for some gang stalkers and shit to be on the bus trying to see where I'm going. So, no, I walked downtown, got on the bus. Nice looking bus driver, too. Friendly. He was, I think he's like Latino and black or something because he spoke Spanish fluently like a motherfucker. That's kind of sexy. But anyways, I digress. We start talking about, um, he brought up, because the dude was on the bus stop trying to get some OD. <laughs> Bring an OD, open can of OD on the bus. So the bus driver just started talking to me. It always happens. It always happens. Don't matter. I could be a, a, a hundred people in the room. Motherfuckers going to find my ass. And we going to talk. We politic. And he's just like, you know why? There's a, there's a liquor store in the church uh, in the hood, like within an eight block radius. And I thought about it. This is true. You know, we start talking about that, about how they don't sell Hennessy downtown Minneapolis. They only sell Hennessy in the hood because that's what black men like to drink, just like they sell. They don't want to sell Newports no more. You know what I'm saying? But that's a different subject. But what we got to is we got to a point about drugs and alcohol. And like I told him, I used to do drugs and shit, and you know, blah blah blah. But it was I was never like he was like he like he's like I can tell. He's like that's why you stopped doing that shit because you knew that that shit wasn't for you in your spirit. You are a spirit dude. He told me I was a whole walking spirit. I was like this nigga on it today, ain't it? He's like you're a whole walking spirit, and your then that shit does not sit right with you. Not your spirit, but you, because you're a walking spirit, bro. I'm glad he's spirit, bro. I got to tap in some days. Real soon, yeah. But no, it was a good conversation. I just got God bumps all over my body because real recognize real game, recognize game. Light recognizes light, but light also recognizes darkness. Or we should. This is the whole point, collector. That's what I'm saying. Because it's, it's a whole system. When you think from a place of lack, then you attract lack-minded motherfuckers. Or you attract absolutely the bare essentials. I changed my motherfucking frequency, tuned it, vibrations back up, because I was out of place. I used to always kind of think big and think of, think outside of the box, and I just to have all these things come to me. And people would be like, he's lucky, he's lucky, he's lucky. I'm not lucky, motherfucker. I'm just skilled at what I want. There's nothing wrong with that. I was raised like that. Whatever you want, you should have. I don't know what happened to, you know, cloned out my moms and shit. I don't know. We're not, that's a different story. But all I'm pretty much saying is that collective, this is what will happen when you attract when you when you send out when you're on a low frequency and your vibration is low, you attract these kind of people that want to come around you and do nasty shit to you. Uh, you know, uh, fuck with your hair care products, put shit in your fucking face wash, or uh, go around town talking all kind of shit about how you ain't about nothing or you're this and that. And everything that they say you are, oh, dick watching, dick watching, maintenance man. <laughs> fuck you. And so what I'm getting at is this, plain and simple. There is a time and a place for everything for you to become who you want to be, okay? Under no circumstances should you allow anybody to dictate that time, space, or place for them to tell you who you're going to be when you already are who you are supposed to be. Does that make sense for anybody? Comment down below if this resonates. Now, change your plans, new beginnings. That's where we are now. Change your plans, new beginnings. Take your ass back home if it, do if it doesn't feel right. I don't give a fuck if you got to go to work or not because they probably trying to set your ass up at work. And that's the other thing, too. You'll notice that when you are walking in your purpose, when you are a light being, God will make it so that you might, you might not ever. He'll make, you may have to struggle for a minute, but the struggling only depends on how long you're willing to struggle in your mind and in your spirit. And that's the truth, Ruth. Let me get one more, please. Thank you.
Thank you. Unpredictable. The new beginnings are unpredictable. God keeps it that way so that you don't get complacent, so that you don't get lazy, so that you have things to look forward to. And, only, and the things that you look forward to are what you manifest. That's the truth. Please. Let me get one more, please. Can I get one more, please? Unpredictable oppression, destiny, delegation. That goes on the narc side. That's definitely it. Yeah. So their destiny, destiny is oppression and delegation because these are the things that they tried to give us. So while you're sitting around trying to be self-preserving, uh, self as, as I like to call it, throwing niggas under the bus or using niggas as scapegoats or lying to deflect about who the fuck you really are to preserve your, your tiny ego or your huge ego in your tiny, in your tiny little existence, that's why it doesn't work because your existence is so tiny that your ego overshadows any and everything that comes around you. That's why people don't really like being around you no more, because all you do is sit around and complain about how the world is tearing your ass up. But you don't think about how you've been tearing up the people of the world. You get what you give, bitch. Shit. One more and we closing this out. Yeah, unpaid debt. You got some unpaid karmic debt, bitch. You and you and you've rack and you keep racking it up. Your your credit in the spiritual realm I hear today is gone. You don't have any. You have been you your credit score is so low, nigga, you couldn't even get a box to live in on the corner. You feel me? One more. Thank you, spirit. Contemplation. Sit, go sit your ass in a corner and think about everything that you've done if you can. Think about it. Yep, think about it. Think about what, though? Hope. <laughs> Hope what? Lamentation. Same diff same damn difference. Uh, let's see what it says. Pessimism. Think about how you're so fucking pessimistic. Mm -hmm. Attainment. Attain what? Repression? Yeah, 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 that's all you got coming to you, bro. That's the secret. Yeah, the compassion. Yeah, possibilities of compassion. Martyrdom. Yeah, that's all you got. That is how you come. You treat yourself like you come across as if you're such a fucking martyr. When you're actually the mar the one who makes people martyrs. You help. You help make a motherfucker a martyr. You turn the whole world against a motherfucker because you're not happy with you or you're not happy that you're not them. And the funny part about it is, Collective, is like I said before, when uh, Trip shows Karma how to be a cat, he showed her. Now, she'd be disrespectful to like dismiss that shit, to just beat him up because she's trying to show him how to be a cat. When a motherfucker takes time to put their hands on you to show you how to be a better person, a better light being, to, to follow the light instead of the dark, and you shit and piss and throw rags and dirty rags and tomatoes at that shit. Don't ask me where I got the dirty rag reference. Somebody's on the rag, they're dirty, maybe you should go take a shower. I don't know, change your pad, whatever the fuck you gotta do, sis, bro, whatever, whatever kind of rag you want. I'm basically just telling you this. At the very end of the day, how long do you think that people are going to sit around and allow you to continue to attack them without at least defending themselves? And then once you defend yourself, because this is what I do now, once I defend myself, and if I got to build a million of them, I will. I'll put a moat and a high fence around what I have to protect that is mine, that I've earned, that is rightfully mine. Because I know for a fact, I am not, I've been saying it for years, I'm not here to live out dreams just for myself. I'm here as a servant of God. When I woke up, I realized I had a very clear conversation. I'm here as a servant of the Lord, my dad, okay? And my little brother Jesus. Big brother Jesus is debatable, but he's still my brother nonetheless, and yours too, collective. And so when I realized I was here as a servant of the a servant of Lord, the Lord God, the Most High God, Source, my perspective changed. And then I also realized that people that come against me to stop me from fulfilling this uh, prophecy that I know that, I, that I'm included in, that was written for just for me, God is not happy with that. Because see, all it took for me was to wake up and accept my responsibility in my life and what I have the responsibility, the responsibility of this whole entire fucking world. And then once I realized that with great power comes great responsibility, God said, and when anybody that steps in front of that great responsibility and all that great power that I'm trying to offer you, son, will suffer great consequences and repercussions on that ass. Shit. Let me get a rebel card and we're going to call it. Uh, close this reading out. Like, share, follow, hit that notification bell. Let me know if this resonates. Does it resonate yet, bitch? <laughs> These motherfuckers killing me with that shit. And as you can see, I don't know, my, my energy is changing. I, I, I'm telling you, I will get out of my body again if I have to. But I will not leave my motherfucking throne for a fucking peasant. Confirmation. I won't. I refuse to. Why would I? Why do I need to? 
I got I got I got uh, ancestors that are goons that I handle that shit. Okay, they broke your heart. Yes, you did. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. Okay, and you be fucking grateful. Shit could be so much worse, and that goes both ways for me, for the narcs, for the motherfucking gang stalkers, for, for the clones. So they don't have any feelings. They can give a fuck because shit's already. Ain't, they don't. They're so. But they are so indifferent. It doesn't even matter. They're not even here. They're, they're, I don't give a fuck about good or bad. I'm just here to ruin the collective. This is insane. But this is the times that we're living in, y'all. Okay, it's 25, 25 on the clock. I'm about to wrap this up. Yeah, let me get one more. Take a deep breath. People, 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 people. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. I've seen butterflies all day today. Okay. Get some fucking sleep. So, okay, so this is, if if it jiggles your ass and jiggles, jiggles your titty and your ass or whatever my sister Nita says, jiggles her titties and it, it makes her titties and ass jiggle, then this is for you. Get some fucking sleep, okay? Put down the meth, the coke, the pills, whatever kind of speed you want that got you seeing fucking shadows chasing your ass. Get some fucking sleep or are you scared to sleep? Probably scared to sleep. I probably would be a little afraid to sleep if I was you too because not only are spirits looking for your motherfucking ass, but people are looking for your motherfucking ass now too, G. And we all know how don't make me jump into my gay Freddy mode because I'll get your ass in the dreams, bitch. Okay? Okay. <laughs> you are being an ass because you are fucking tired. Face the pillow now. Get some sleep, bitch. That's all I got. We're closing this reading out. Like, share, follow, hit that notification button, that subscribe button. It's your co oh, cousin, 7-9. Am I somebody's cousin now? Somebody getting a new addition to the family. Hey, hey, you're going to love me, though. You're going to love me, though. That's all I'm saying. I love you guys. Thank you for joining me. You grow, I grow, I grow, you grow, we grow together. Love and light as always. Until the next time. Deuces. Love you, baby. Motherfucking savage.